I watch in horror what is happening in the Central African Republic right now. And I say horror because those moments of great joy for us as a nation born in April 1994 were the toughest times in the life of the Rwandese people when they lived through their genocide. We didn't even notice it happening. Of course, matters relating to the Central African Republic have been on the floor of this house, regrettably, regrettably for what appears to be point scoring. As we speak today, there's a pogrom in Bangui. As we speak, we must be conscious of the fact that virtually every Muslim who was a resident of Bangui has been driven out. And we, as a people who care, who want to Caring democracy for ourselves cannot be blind to the suffering of other Africans. And this floor of this house is fundamentally important in building the value system so that our people will know that we care as Africans, we care deeply as people. Because when we were in need, as a people struggling for democracy, everybody else demonstrated care for us. So the floor of this house, I believe, needs to be used more extensively to persuade each other and persuade our people of the values of our constitution and the values that our democracy requires of us. We must know that we do carry the hopes and aspirations of every African. Can't ever be blind to those responsibilities. So I ask provocatively whether we use the floor of parliament sufficiently. <clears throat> 